Hey, what's happening? Todd G here at moneyinthecloud.com and this video is going to talk about how to make a thumbnail for a YouTube video. So let's get going. Okay, how to make a thumbnail for YouTube. So YouTube thumbnails, I'm jumping right in, um, they want to be 1280 by 720 uh, is the optimal size for them. Now the thumbnail is made, really you want to attract somebody's attention. You, the thumbnail, as people scroll down on all these videos, it needs to stand out. So that's really your number one goal with your thumbnail. And it clearly represents what the video is about. Now, I prefer to have uh, my pick on it. Uh, most most of the more popular thumbnails out there I see, uh, they have their pick on it, their own pick, but it's a personal preference, right? Now, I recommend to study your competition and see what are uh, what videos are getting a lot of views out there and a lot of likes and model after what works. Don't copy exactly because that's wrong, but you can model after it and if they've got a picture in a red box up there, maybe you have a picture in a red box with some different writing and different words and different terminology. So uh, how do you get your pics? So uh, if you want to get pics of yourself, um, again it's to grab attention so you want to get various poses of, uh, and facial expressions you don't want to just always be just stiff like this or smiling like this i mean you want something that kind of stands out like you know something that's a little different now if you have uh if you want to get like a transparent pick where it's just you and nothing behind it so you can add it and layer it into images um, you should use a solid color background for your pick. Uh, green screen is great because then you can uh, you can just highlight the green and it'll take care of everything as long as you're not wearing a green shirt <laughs> or anything. Um, but anyway, a solid color background is best. You want to have good lighting. Uh, you want to make sure it's well lit. You preferably have a high res camera. And in this day and age, with all the phones and the cameras are really you know pretty much every phone out there with a camera is high resolution these days. That shouldn't be a problem. And then uh, a, an extra tip here is you can take a short video of yourself changing poses, you know, like this, and mm, this, and you can just do all these different poses while you're taking this short video. And then you can use just uh, screen capture to capture the still photos from that video and use those to uh, edit for your YouTube thumbnail. Anyway, that's just an extra tip. Uh, it helps me out sometimes. If, and maybe it's a lazy way, but it's more efficient, right? You take a short video of yourself doing all these poses and take like 20 screen caps out of there or what have you, then you don't have to like keep setting the camera up and keep posing and, and what have you. So in order to remove the background from these pictures, uh, there's plenty of software out there. Uh, but if you want a free resource, there's a, a photoscissors.com and I'm going to show you a little bit of example of this in just a second. You upload your pic to photoscissors.com and then you use their tools inside of there and you mark uh, in one color, I think like with green, on just kind of color what stays and then red what goes. And it's pretty cool. It, it's a lot easier than some of the, the editors that I've used in the past to try to get rid of the background. Um, I highly suggest you check that out. Again, it's a free resource. And here's some free YouTube thumbnail makers, uh, Canva.com, um, Crello, PicMaker, Snappa, Backgrounder. Um, I usually stick with Canva and Backgrounder. I haven't used Crello, PicMaker, and Snappa. Uh, maybe PicMaker a long time ago. I haven't used it in a while. But anyway, here's some free resources that you can check out uh, if that is uh, you know something that, that you want to try out. And I'm going to show you Canva. And I'm going to show you Backgrounder in just a second. I'm not going to show you the other three because it would make this video way too long. But if you want a paid uh, uh, resource uh, to, to up your game and, and really stand out with your thumbnails, I uh, highly suggest checking out Fiverr.com. Uh, Fiverr.com is basically a place that starts out with $5 gigs. That's why they call it Fiverr. Um, obviously, they have uh, more expensive packages in there, but most most of their gigs, they call them, uh, start out as like freelancers uh, that start out at $5. And I'm going to show you that too at the end of this video. So let's get into the actual uh, examples of these. So this is photoscissors.com. 
all you gotta do is upload an image. I'm just gonna pick an image here. Uh, hopefully it's not an embarrassing one, or not too embarrassing, I should say. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find one that will be good for this video. One second. I'm looking through some screenshots here. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's just pick this screenshot. Let's see. Hopefully this is a good one. So, all right. Yeah, this is a good one because it's got it's got me on a green screen. Okay. So, this is the original picture that was taken from um, from a, a, a video, a short video where I was doing different poses and what have you. So this is just. This is just telling you how to do it, right? It, it shows you, you mark what stays in green and mark what goes in red. And basically it's saying you don't have to highlight everything. Just just highlight the the um, a sample of it, right? And then it tells you what not to do. You don't need to like color everything in, you know, like you're, you know, back in kindergarten or what have you. Um, and it tells you to stay within the line. So you can, you know, you, you can go through that if you want. But basically, so here's the green. I'm just going to take the green and say, all right, I want this to stay. And then I'm going to go up here to red and I'm going to say, I want all of this to go. I'll try to get down here. It's a little darker. All right. So it's going to do its thing. And boom, look, now I got a little, if you're really, um, you know, it really detailed and you want to get rid of the screen, you can zoom in there and get rid of it. But this is pretty good. I mean, for just what? less than 30 seconds worth of work uh, that's not bad and I'll take that usually nine times out of ten now if you want to zoom in and get rid of that you could but again and then all you gotta do is just download it you just come over here and you click on the save button and then you download it that's it that's how simple it is to remove a backgrounder with photoscissors.com it does help that I have a solid background and I have a green screen but I've done it with white screens without the green uh, just with a, a wall a white wall or anything you don't have to have a green screen so don't think that you have to all right but that's it that's how photo scissors work works so let's head on over to canva all right so canva.com I think you have to sign up for a free account it's free you can use either sign up for a free account there or use your Google one of your Google uh, email addresses and and sign in using one a single sign on with Google or Facebook what have you but you have to sign in but it's still free right so here when you go over to Canva, you want to type YouTube in the search uh, button, and it's going to ask you if you want to do channel art or thumbnail. Now, this one's going to be thumbnail, and notice the size there is 1280 by 720. So Canva's smart enough to know that that's the optimal size of a thumbnail. So you can head on over here, and there's lots of designs in Canva that are already here that are free. Some of them are watermarked with Canva. However, even with the watermark, you can usually delete the watermark off. I usually try to stay with just the free, free ones. Um, and I mean, it depends on your niche, right? They've got some niches already here. They got music, they got food, um, you know, beauty, what have you. But you can also, if you don't want to use one of these uh, templates here, you can go down and just use like a background, okay? You can just come over here and say background. And then you can just choose like a solid color or a color that or something like an ocean or something like that so it depends on whether you want to use a template or a background uh, a lot of times I stay with the background and you can change these colors by the way so say say you just wanted this background just a nice blue and it's free you can see that this one's free and of course you want to you can go through the tutorial if you want over here but or you can just exit the help um, but you can click in here and you can change the color so say if you wanted it to stand out and you want it to be pink or red or what have you you know you can do that you could also you can then you can add some text in here so if you want to add a heading like some big text you can just um, type in uh, awesome video you know whatever there and then you can change the font of it you can change it to whatever you want uh, something that they've got tons of fonts in here I mean a lot of fonts it almost gets crazy right and you can change the size so if you want to make it huge you want to make it like 96 or something and then of course you can expand it out just like with any editor maybe I made that a little too too big but you you get the, the gist of it right and then you can move this around so if you want to put awesome video up here and then you can go over here and add uh, 
in the upload section you can just add a video now I've already uploaded all these images and by the way you can uh, when you click on upload an image you can select a lot of images at a time and I'll upload them all let's say I just wanted to use this one right I just put this in here and then I just you know put it wherever I want I can adjust it obviously this is just a really basic I would make it a lot better I would do a little bit more with the background that looks a little boring to me but you, you get it right and then you just download it all right that's just the simple things you can add elements you can add some stuff here you know if you want to add I don't know they got photos and graphics and different things there if you want to add obviously you want to spice it up a little bit but this is just your basic right that's your basic way to um, to make a thumbnail in Canva I'm not gonna say that now backgrounder is interesting okay it used to not have ads and now it does which ads don't bother me so much being an online marketer I mean that would be kind of uh, a little bit hypocritical of me to say that ads bother me but sometimes ads are annoying but these aren't too annoying um, the first time they added the ads in there I thought maybe uh oh what's going on there's a malware but <laughs> it's just an ad I will tell you that backgrounder is a little flaky okay it makes some cool thumbnails but it's a little flaky uh, I've had more success using Safari than I have with Chrome However, for this demo, I am going to use Chrome and see what happens. So when you first pull this up, you can click on new project, but when you first go online here, you don't have to sign on or anything, it's automatically defaulted to a new project. So say I wanted to use uh, this background right here. I'm just going to say, okay, whatever, leave site. I'm not really leaving the site, but this should just pull up this background. Now bear with me, i got a lot of windows open and I've got my video recording software going. So it's eating up a lot of resources. So there you go. There, there is one of the bugs with Backgrounder. Um, like I said, I have, I've had a lot better success with Safari than I have with Chrome for some reason. I haven't tried Firefox. I haven't tried any other browser. Uh, but Safari is usually pretty stable for some reason. And maybe it's the version of Chrome that I have versus the version of Safari on my Mac. Um, it can be a little frustrating because of all the little bugs. However, it does make some pretty cool uh, background. So um, I'm gonna try this one more time. If it works, great. If it doesn't, um, you can use it your own, you know, discretion, right? See if it's gonna work for you, see if it doesn't. Um, there, there's the background, okay? Now it's it takes a while because it's rendering. It's actually gonna pull up the, uh, the wording there as well, the backgrounder, at least it should. Again, I'm taking up a lot of resources on my Mac, so uh, if it takes a little bit longer, it takes a little bit longer. But while it's doing that, I just kind of wanted to show you the settings here. So you can you can choose your background, and you can choose your settings with this little checkbox. Uh, by default, it defaults to YouTube channel art, which is a lot larger size, like 2450 by 1080 or something. It's not your 1280 by your 720. So you want to go in this checkbox settings here, and then you want to choose video uh, 720, and that's the right size, and it'll readjust the size, and it looks like it's, yeah, it, it's just, it doesn't like to work on Chrome for some reason here. Um, let's see if I can pull it up just to go kind of show you the settings real quick. Um, again, I, I just had all kinds of problems out of Chrome with this and I should have probably done this video in Safari uh, <laughs> you know but hindsight is 2020 you can go here and check it out I just kinda wanna go uh, across the left side here to show you what the options were even if you can't see them I wanna kinda highlight them and show you what what is going on if it'll let me um, yeah maybe not okay this is a horrible demo for backgrounder but along the left side there's the first part is just like your new project. The second part is like your uh, settings for your size or your video. And it's going to be like, uh, like I said, um, it's going to default to the YouTube channel art. I'm going to go back over here. It's going to default to YouTube channel art. And then it's going to, uh, you, you'll have to select video 720 and it'll readjust. Then you go down to what it looks like layers, right? It's like three layers. That's where you actually edit your um your uh, background and your uh, text and then you can add an image on top of it much like I did with Canva and you can add a another layer with an image 
and it takes a little bit of working with it to get the layers on top of each other just right. It can be frustrating, but it can make some amazing YouTube backgrounds for free. Anyway, I think I've I think I probably ruined it for you, but but it is a it is a good program. However, you got to find a browser that works for you, obviously. Now, the last thing I want to do is go over here to Fiverr. If you've never used a Fiverr gig, uh, like I said, they start out at five dollars. Um, but they can. There's some really good uh, people on here that they can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook. If you want to make your Facebook, um, you know, profile. I mean, there's some good video editing, editing software people on here. They can add like uh, awesome intros, outros, amazing things that they can do on Fiverr. So really, all you do is just search, right? So I'm going to search for YouTube thumbnail. and what you're going to see are all the gigs that come up for youtube thumbnails and like you see across the top are graphics design digital marketing writing translation video animation music audio programming tech uh, there there's a lot of freelance people on here and um and they do good jobs so what i normally do is wait till this comes up again there's a lot of resources being taken up i think because backgrounder is kind of bogging me down but you see here, um, what I normally do is is I sort by best selling, and then it'll it'll resort. So you can see here, this guy is doing three YouTube thumbnails for starting at ten dollars, okay? And he he will deliver them in twenty four hours. Now, I think this is a girl. Yeah, it looks like a girl from here. Um, again, I will design a catchy YouTube thumbnail starting at five dollars. And so you just kind of go through here. You can look at their, their ratings. Uh, this one has 868 five-star ratings um, right here. I know you can't see my cursor, but hopefully you can see the highlight on screen. Um, this guy, the first one has 442 five-star ratings. Uh, the third one over from the left, uh, this one has uh, over a 1,000 five-star ratings. So again, you just kind of look through that and see, and a lot of times they put their best, um, their best work on the on the thumbnail here so if that's something that attracts you something that you're looking for this is a great resource not too expensive but again it's not free and if you're creating a lot of videos that can add up however if you want to really stand out and look professional or look um, amazing like some of the other marketers that you see out there this is probably the, the way to go but if you want to stay free you, there's a, a lot of free resources as I've shown you all right I think that's it for this video. Um, you know, we went over some free resources. We talked about how to make a thumbnail for YouTube. Uh, I talked about how to remove the background uh, from your, your photos with photo scissors. Uh, gave you a lot of free resources, including one that didn't work so well for me, but I do use a lot, but I use on Safari instead of Chrome. Um, and then we talked about some uh, a paid resource at Fiverr.com. So, uh, and Fiverr.com is F-I-V-E-R-R.com, by the way, if you didn't see that earlier. So that's all I got for this video. I get asked a lot about how to make a YouTube thumbnail, and I understand I had to do a lot of research when I first started out. So I hope this uh, this has been of value to you. And if it has, uh, leave leave a, a comment below, you know, and then uh, click the like button, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos like this one if you got value out of it. All right, that's it for this how to make a thumbnail for a YouTube video. I'm Todd G. I will see you, my friends, in the next video.